What's up guys, Will Drone here. Today we're looking at the conventional deadlift. This is a great lift for building overall power in your lower body and your torso, as well as your mid to upper back. This can be a complex lift, so it's important that you really become comfortable with what's proper form and what's not, and what's working best for you. So, we're gonna start with the setup. A lot of people approach the bar in the wrong way. The proper setup for conventional deadlift is to have a relatively narrow foot placement, just about shoulder width apart, grabbing either double overhand or the heavier weight, overhand underhand. You want the bar to be right up against your shins. This is going to give you a better angle to pull, whereas if you're out here, it's going to pull you forward in the mid part of the lift. So starting here, this is what's important. Your hip angle should not be any deeper than this. Too many people sit too far back and try to pull through the legs. This defeats your posterior chain and kills your power in the lift. Starting closer to the bar, with your hips higher and shoulders over the toes, right instead of over the bar, it's going to give you a powerful starting base. Now let's look at the movement. Alright, so now that we're in the movement, the key to this movement is lifting as a unit. Letting the shoulders rise before the hips, or the hips rise before the shoulders, is going to put you in a disadvantageous position, causing you to lose core tightness and ultimately lose the lift. What I want to see here is your hips and shoulders rising at the same rate. If your shoulders come up first, you're going to have to put all the stress on your lower back, lower back and your legs. If your hips rise, the stress is going to be on your shoulders and upper back as well as your lower back. Keeping core tightness and raising at the same time will allow you to produce the most power throughout the leg. Alright, the last thing before you perform this lift is what you want going on in your head as you're doing this lift. Too many people think of the deadlift as a pull. You don't want to think of it as a pull. You're not pulling with your lower back here. You're keeping your core tight and you're actually pushing the ground away with your feet. So when I'm here, as I start this movement, I'm driving the ground away from me and my upper back happens to rise. I'm not pulling with my upper back. That leaves you susceptible to injury. So without further ado, let's do a few reps in proper form. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, leave a comment down below, tell me what you want to see next. Um, whether it's a power movement, abs, anything. I'll give you a formal tutorial on what works best for me, and hopefully what's going to work best for you. And uh, without further ado, this is the Little Drone. I'm out.